This is the largest collection of beer cans in the world. Welcome to Brewhouse Mountain. Come on inside. Over the course of 40 years, Jeff Lebo has accumulated more than 87,000 beer cans. There are probably about 5,000 cans in this room. His collection is valued at a whopping $1.6 million and is kept in his holiday home, Brewhouse Mountain. It took me about two years to complete this place, but um, I say complete in quotations because it's never really finished. It's sort of an ongoing labor of love. Even if that love isn't shared by his wife, Laurie. If I were to ever get trapped in one of his rooms with all the beer cans, before I'd actually take an interest in that for mental stimulation, to actually look at the beer cans, I'd probably just chew my own arm off. But it's his love. I love my husband. I like to indulge his, uh, his passions. I started collecting when I was about 13 years old. My dad was working for American Can Company, and that was the first can company in the world to uh, patent a beer can back in 1935. Right here we have uh, the very first beer can ever to exist. This is the, from the Kruger Company in Newark, New Jersey, and it was test marketed in 1935 in Virginia. Jeff has bought and traded cans from all over the world. Back when I was 13, I actually traded with a guy in Sweden. He would send me 100 cans, I'll send him 100 back. To this day, I've never met the guy. But having amassed such a large collection, he needed somewhere to display it. Well, I decided back in about 1998 to build Brewhouse Mountain. It was always sort of a dream of mine to have a place to be able to display the whole collection. So here we have the main living space. Got a little fireplace there, lots of sofas to get comfy. We've got a bathroom here downstairs. Even the bathroom has beer stuff all through it. And here we have the kitchen, an oven, stove, everything you need to have a nice weekend. Here we have the American room. These are all cans from the US of A, tab top cans, which started in 1962. We have four bedrooms upstairs. This is the African room. Here we have the Pacific Room. And there are so many cans from Germany that they get their very own room. Here we have the Sweden Room, the Game Room, and the Bar. Yeah, the cans are all completely empty. Um, they've all been emptied completely and washed out and rinsed, so they should be nice and clean. Visitors can stay in Brewhouse Mountain for $469 a night. And despite Laurie's lack of interest in the collection, it seems the holiday home will be keeping its beer can theme. I like um, being able to sort of preserve some of the social history in a way, um, especially these kinds of items because they were produced to be thrown away. They were never meant to be art objects. They were never meant to be collected. They were never meant to be saved. They were actually meant to be discarded. 